20 million. That's how many new cancer cases were detected worldwide in 2022, a number that continues to rise. American studies estimate that more than 90 percent of cancer-related deaths are caused by metastasis, cancer cells that break away from their original tumor and spread to other organs. An Israeli startup is working on a way to tackle this challenge. Meet New Phase. Based here in Petah Tikva, New Phase, founded in 2013, specializes in technologies aimed at treating metastatic cancer. At the center of its innovation, nanoparticles administered directly to patients. The idea that the company is based on is to order, again, a prolonged patient life without side effects. In order to do so, we found out that if we be able to manufacture nanoparticles, that we'll be able to control the temperature inside the body. Inside this vial are the nanoparticles in question. They're made with iron oxide, which is why when a magnet is placed nearby, both the liquid and the particles move with it. And the idea for these nanoparticles stems from the personal story of one of New Phase's co-founders. Some story uh, of uh, my co-founder, uh, Dr. Rafi Hoff, uh, when his uh, mother, she had a lung cancer many years ago. Uh, she passed away, but the outcome of, of, of her, her disease uh, was some, some idea. To understand how the technology works, we're heading to the Rabin Medical Center, Bellinson Hospital in Petah Tikva, where the clinical trials are underway. 27 patients are currently enrolled in these trials, conducted in a room dedicated to new phases research. The nanoparticles are administered through simple IV infusions. A, a normal blood vessel, to a, and you compare it to a tumor blood vessel, you see they are different. In the tumor, it's completely destroyed. You have po what we call pores, really hollow. So the nanoparticles go into it, but this is a simple concept. Nanoparticles tend to concentrate into tumor. That's not from our experience. That's, it's known in, in, in the literature that nanoparticles go to tumors because of the property of the tumor blood cells. Once the nanoparticles enter the cancer cell, everything happens right here on this treatment bed. Uh, we insert the bed inside, similar to a CT scan, MRI scan, other uh, modalities of scan, and there is a coil that is hidden inside here, and it's irradiating a magnetic field through the torso area. After we reach the target area, which is in the torso, mainly in the torso, we apply the magnetic field. After uh, 15 to 20 minutes, uh, well, the treatment is done. And how the heating process is working here. Yeah, so similar, um, similar to induction heating uh, in the kitchen. Uh, the system applies also a magnetic uh, field exactly in the same concept as uh, induction heating in the kitchen uh, oven, and it heats up the metal part inside the, that is located inside the nanoparticles. But why does this process destroy only cancer cells? It comes down to the difference in resistance between healthy cells and tumor cells. First of all, we have to understand that cancer cells are fragile compared to normal cells. To destroy normal cells by heat, you need higher temperatures. It's enough to about 45 to kill a cancer cell to destroy the membrane that is very fragile. Another key factor, healthy cells can withstand significantly higher temperatures than cancer cells. New Phase doesn't claim to cure cancer, but aims to extend patients' lives. I'm not speaking about cure, I'm speaking about prolonged life. Okay. Uh, and in our technology, since we don't have any side effect or toxicity, we can make more and more treatment. We had even a case in Israel where a patient uh, with, with an estimated time, even if it's a hard question, on how long the life can be it's, it's hard to say, but just remember that all the patients, that as of today, and role to those patients, they exhausted all other treatments. Mm -hmm. So what we expect is to prolong life and without side effects. Let's say the quality of life of those patients will be different in comparison to the current treatment. 
Today, 27 patients are taking part in the clinical trials in Petatikva. For large-scale development, New Phase is looking towards the United States. The FDA, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, is closely following the progress of the Israeli team. In the near future, since the FDA acknowledged our result in Israel, so uh, in the USA, we will have to run the, the same study, but only with nine patients, because the FDA was acknowledged and were impressed with our results. The current clinical trials are expected to continue for several more months. New Phase hopes to scale up the technology within the next two to three years. This technology doesn't promise a cure, but it may help patients gain precious time, improve quality of life, and perhaps open new horizons in cancer care.